Well, well, well. It's a beautiful, crispy, cool fall morning. And today is looking like an RS3 day. That's right. We're taking the RS3 in for mods. We're gonna put uh, carbon fiber mirror caps. Um, we're gonna black out the top of the roof. We're gonna put the carbon fiber uh, trunk lid on. And we've got a JB4 tune kit for it and paint correction and Maxton kit, Motivo spec. Get ready. All right. All right, let's fire this beast up. All righty. A little cold. Man, it's chilly out here. What do you guys think? Should I change the interior color? Put yellow inserts here or gold? All right, as I was saying before I got interrupted by CarPlay, should we put yellow inserts in the door in the quilted seats? You know, you got these quilted seats. They're really nice and everything, but they're a little boring. I think of putting yellow in the, in the center of the seats. What do you guys think? Perfect. So we're dropping it off at Roger as we do uh, for the treatment. The Motivo spec on the Audi RS3 front lip, rear lip, a little carbon fiber touches, a little bit of gloss black PPF. So it's going to look transformed. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we appreciate you. And uh, really, yeah, we'll look forward to it. Thanks, man. All right. So we're on our way. We just dropped off the M4 for service. We're on our way to uh, get the RS3 with the mods. And we had to stop by here because they had something interesting I wanted to see. But check out the spec on the Dorado. Superman. Blue and red and white. And the two-tone interior. Saddle with uh, carbon. With, um, what do you call it? Alcantara. It's nice, though. Looks like they're going to have an event in here. I, I didn't even know about it. This is what I wanted to see, though. Ooh, that's nasty. That's, that's nasty, bro. <laughs> that's crispy to me. What do y'all think about this, man? I'm, I miss having a Huracana already. I, I like this, bro. This one, this one is sick. I like the color, but I would change a couple of things on that follow spec and everything. What, the brakes? Brakes in the hood. In the hood? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. I could do it out there. The carbon hood too. Yeah, I could do it out there. But that right. I like I like this mug. Um maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> He's like, I know you guys. <laughs> He's like, uh, they already know what we got on order. So what do you guys think of the Technica? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. The wing has grown on me, bro. Yeah, I like the body notch too. It looks clean. So the diffuser, I would do gloss black. You want me to hold and record, man? I was talking to him, right? What you want to so do with the diffuser? They painted the whole thing gray. Yeah. I would do, did the fins gray. Okay, and then. Maybe the side, following like up through here or something. Uh, like a stripe type, almost like a real, like gray. a pinstripe, or a little thicker. So like, so you can see this almost as like a fin as well. Ah, uh, okay. And then we'll, what I don't know that maybe I would do mm -hmm. is do the top gray of this too, so it looks like one piece. Oh, this part right here. This part right here. I don't know. I feel and like that's a little too up. much. It might be. Cause I think if you do like, for example, gray here and you black that out underneath. I feel like less is more because the rear end already got so much black in it. You don't want to like make it too choppy in a sense. But think about this. Mm -hmm. This shape right here. In the Aston, it has a similar shape like that. And it looks really good when, with the yellow. But Aston's more round though. This is more like angular. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. But, but I do think 
It might look sweet. Shoot. Sure. It might look like that. that I like how the Aston came out where it has the diffuser going like this and like and then you got the fans. Mm, okay. But I didn't almost realize that this was great because it's kind of dark under there. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's like a PPS though. Let me step back real quick. Yeah, you kind of got to really pay attention and look. Grew on me a lot. The, the wing, right? Yeah, it grew on me a lot. At first, I was kind of, mm. I like the clean rear end, like on that Technica. Yeah, yep. Like but that. this actually, the more you look at it, the more it almost is like this is how it should be. Yeah, it flows. <laughs> To the, to the um, rear. It's a nice angle here. I'm not a big fan of the wheels on the uh, on the car though. Like this, don't let really shoot the car as much. Yeah, these wheels like depending on how you look at them, it, it looks like a bunch of circles. Yeah. Or it looks like spokes, just depending on how you look at them. Lambo wheels are kind of like that. Yeah, but I feel like Lambo pulled it off better in the past, like yeah, this style. I like the, the other years, but look at that interior right there. It's got the green in there. I wonder if it opens. Kind of reminiscing. Uh, yeah, no, no touching, VIPs only. You better call me VIP. They didn't invite me to this event. Man, for Please. real. <laughs> the interior is nice, though. This is it out. Ah, that sucks. We didn't. It came from Colorado, and I don't know what the fuck we built this car without front lift, but we did it. It's it's a pretty car, though. Yeah, people love the Grigio Telesto with the Verde scandal, the exposed carbon fiber mm. bonnet and engine cover. It's a really nice car. Yeah, it has the CPO. I like it. Well spiked. Uh, we have a U uh, Urtis S coming in in the same Grigio, so that's you know, we're doing yellow instead of green. Uh, what is it? That looks sweet. Yeah, with the yellow bricks. See, you already had brother. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is a nice. Uh, we get a lot of compliments on this color. It's very popular. And this is uh, 23 first year car. I think we're around 36 miles. Yeah. Yeah, we had it with a trade with 800, and then we sold it to a customer. He drove it. I don't know where. From 800 to 36, and then his technica came in, so he just traded. Oh wow! So, yeah, this, this is a normal. filler, yeah, filler Technica. <laughs> hey, first world problems. When your Technica don't come, you get another one. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, this, I'm, I'm kind of in the market, so. And then, remember, Velto? No, did he put it in or not? Yeah, it's supposed to be the November build, but. They said with the software updates and stuff, it might take a little longer. So you're getting one of the earlier 25s? Yes. Nice. Yeah, we only have one more 24 left or two, and then one more Okay. Yeah, I'm not in the rest because i got some of my stuff moving around, but I'm changing. Can't wait. Yeah, everyone's in a little bit different. So that's it. Look at that rear, guys. That's that's sick right there. And if not, the other side, the high year 25 will be here. The 21st through the 27th, if you want to you yeah. want to sign up for a test drive, go to Samara. Cool. Because that's the same drive line that's going to be in the Tomorrow. I can't that's get no time to drive. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. This is a sweet color right here, though. Check that out, guys. Clean. I like this yellow. It complements the car nicely. And that bad boy right there. This is right here. This is goals. You lower this car a little bit. It's already super low um, from the factory, but you lower it a bit. Put some wheels on it. Nice spec, too. That's perfect right there. You ready to roll? I like that technical. That technical in the gray? I like it, bro. And like somebody it. plotting. Like that man's it. plotting, guys. Next video is going to be taking delivery of my new Huracan Technica. Might be a nice Depending on gift. when this come out, it might be a That's nice a gift. gift. You know? I mean, so people ask me, do I miss my Evo, right? After I twin turboed it. Yeah. And I think I I modded it to the point where it was almost like a different car. Yeah, it was too much. It was just like a different. It was just. It wasn't a Huracan anymore. It was a, some kind of crazy beast. You know. Yeah. Souped up to the max. So now it's like the things that make the Huracan good. 
mm-hmm. I miss. Mm, the V10 NA I mean, sound. Even, even the basic stuff, like I put carbon fiber in my car. I didn't need to put carbon fiber and stuff in there. Like, yeah. the car's good. The leather and stuff is high quality. Mm-hmm. I miss a, a OEM plus uh, type. The OEM exhaust. So, mm-hmm. we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, 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 we'll okay. See. All right, we out. Don't blame me. have the car now back from um brian actually put the springs on it we put um what is it uh eye box springs on it lowering springs so now you can see the car sits lower and the ride quality should not be should not suffer that much i kind of like it to be a little higher in the back but i mean these are not adjustable these are just springs maybe in the future we'll do adjustable we also got paint correction we got the new wing put on. This is a new OEM uh, carbon fiber wing. It's like a slightly bigger wing than what came on the RS3. We got the um, the the rear lip from Maxton, which looks awesome. This looks sick. Next, we're gonna do gloss black on the wheels. They're matte black right now, or satin. And, uh, oh, look what else we did. We did the, the black door handles. They look good. And we did uh, got a little wrap material in here. The roof blacked out the rear part of the roof. Looks sick. We put the carbon fiber mirror caps on. With the PPF on the mirror caps which is what I was pressing in. Um, so the roof's blacked out, carbon fiber, um, lowered in the front lip from Maxton. Looks sick. Looks crazy. Damn, that looks good. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of the, the mods, man? I'm loving the mods. Haven't done anything to the interior yet, but we, we want to we want to do um, the uh, Alcantara inserts in matching yellow to match the exterior of the car so that's what i'm looking at next i'm guessing that what is that the old <laughs> yeah but it had uh we got um paint correction man it looks great shout out to roger with essex auto enhancement check him out on instagram and uh yeah hit me up if you guys <clears throat> Need a good detailer to knock out the paint correction for you for a good price. Man, this came out nice. So, drop me a comment. Let me know how you like the mods so far on the RS3. Like I said, lowered it. And, uh, man, damn, I love this car. I've never had... I've had two yellow cars recently. And before that, I had never had a yellow car. The closest thing I had to a yellow was my Austin... What was it called? Austin, uh, Austin Yellow, I guess it was called. The Austin, the color from BMW. I had an M4 that was Austin Yellow, I guess. I can't remember. I feel like it was called something else. But, yeah, we're looking forward to driving this bad boy to the crib. Oh, it still smells good. It smells like new in here. Don't start it yet. I'm going to get a video, too. Oh, okay. You get the inside or you want to get the I'll get the inside. All right, so we're going to start it up. Um, I forgot to tell you guys, the other mod that I did was to the exhaust. We put we took out the mid pipes, which are, um, what do you call it, uh, resonated mid pipes, and replaced it with uh, straight pipes. 
um, removing the resonator. So let's start this thing up. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Guess what else we got going on here? Any you guys recognize that? <laughs> That's right. We've got JB4 hooked up. <laughs> yeah, so we got a little bit of mid-pipe activity going on. And we've got a little bit of tune activity going on. A little bit of enhancement to the stock tune so let me configure this and then uh, I'll check back in with you guys. All right, so here's the settings. We got map zero, which is factory. Map one, which I'm on right now, is two additional, you know, pounds square PSI, two additional PSI of boost. So you really can't feel, can't really feel much of a difference. Um, let me put this thing into, let me put it into individual. Oh, that's RS individual. Yeah, that's my, that's my mode. All right, so that's map one. Let's put it in, uh, let's put it in map three, which I think I should be able to do for PSI. All right, so we're in map three. Let me go back to the display. A little bit more boost. We'll hit it and see what happens here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, once it kicks in, it's, the, it's definitely there. So, I don't know. Map zero is supposed to be stock. So we can watch the boost level here. Let me see how much boost we get up to. Uh, this air fuel race to the gear map. <laughs> yeah, it's feeling pretty good on map three. Let's put it back to map zero and see if we can tell the difference. All right, this map zero factory map. All right, so this is factory, so it shouldn't be adding anything. to tell the difference it's hard to tell the difference I mean we need to do a draggy I think so I got a draggy at the crib so we'll grab the draggy and do some real testing on uh, how much faster this car is with the JB4 because my last uh, RS3 I had a JB4 and honestly I couldn't tell the difference it actually felt maybe like it was a little slower but it says we're on map three right now. I thought I thought I just put map zero. Why does it say map three still? Why does it still say map three on there? All right, so car's running good. 
it's on map three right now. I got 93 octane in here and it's running strong. Like I don't, I would like to do a test to compare map zero to map three where map uh, three is supposed to have like an additional four pounds of boost. I like to see the difference. Um, yeah, I, I, if, if it's a little faster, it's hard to tell with the butt dyno. It just it just pulls hard. <laughs> I think the worst thing about this car that if they could fix anything would be um, the 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 downshift times. It lags before downshifting. So like if I punch it, it'll take a minute uh, before it downshifts. Uh, I'll try to give you guys an example. Let me. I'm gonna put it in sport mode, right? All right, sport mode right here. Yeah, it took a minute for it to downshift. Yeah, it was a little like iffy on the downshift. A little iffy on the downshift. That, that's the one thing about the RS3. But once it's once it's in gear, it'll go. <laughs> Hey, what do you guys think about this sound? That's what the uh, the mid pipes, mid pipes, man. It sounds good. It's a little louder, not but not too much for sure. Got a little more hum to it. Um, one thing about the JB4 that I noticed, like when I had it on my M4, it really wakes up the M4. Uh, but you have to drive it a little bit for the car and the JB4 to kind of work together and I guess learn learn what's going on or whatever you gotta drive it a little bit so hopefully by the time we get home it'll be all synced up and working together but I mean it's pulling pretty good pulling pretty good now one thing I have noticed um, with these little mods that I've done so far is the iBox springs ride pretty much like factory very smooth um, the the rebound rate and the, like the bounce rate or whatever on the springs feels pretty much like factory I, if I didn't know any better I would think the car is on factory springs so um, the only thing I don't like is I wish the rear end set a little bit a tad bit higher like a quarter of an inch higher or a half an inch higher um, so that the car doesn't look like it's got a reverse rake but the ride quality is great on these ibox springs so shout out to ibox it's the one and only floyd money mayweather i'm here to tell you guys to go to wheel motivation the exotic cars is crazy i've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing but we need everybody else to subscribe to wheel motivation and support wheel i'm supporting them you do the same Got this shit knocking though.